Well, the numbers for 2016 are in and they are discouraging because the numbers of opioid overdose deaths represent lives lost. 342 overdose deaths, overdose deaths, I should say, last year. A hundred more than the year before. County leaders trying to find answers stood together today. Local 12's Deborah Dixon says that they were both frustrated and more determined. If you're choosing to use drugs right now, you really are taking a gamble. The Hamilton County Coroner standing with members of the Heroin Task Force, the FBI, DEA, the Health Commissioner, hoping users will listen to what the lab shows. What killed hundreds of people in Hamilton County last year is a jumble of different deadly drugs from heroin, fentanyl, carfentanyl to cocaine. You have no idea what's in that stuff because where'd they get it from? I mean, it's synthetic. Who knows what they're mixing in this stuff? Warning addicts doesn't seem to be working. The Hamilton County Health Commissioner says that's because it's a disease. This is a disease of the brain. And certainly um, you can, people can clean themselves out, but if the craving hasn't been treated, uh, eventually um, they go back into usage of opiates. So far this year, 1,400 people in our area have been treated in emergency rooms for overdoses. One proposal has emergency rooms partnering with recovery centers to get these overdose patients help right away. So many ideas that could work come back to finding money for them. At 6 on Local 12, I'll tell you about something that's making a difference right now. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. We have a special Hooked on Heroin section at Local12.com. It's helping families coping with heroin epidemic.